Hello, hello, Robert here. Hello. Sorry, I thought you'd. Uh, I thought you'd got a, a code you wanted to log on with. No, I'm sorry, I got mixed up. Um, uh, no, if you send me the code, that'd be great. Thank you. No, I will have to do it on the phone. I think. Okay. Okay. That's that. That's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, it's nice that you've been uh, been able to to um, you know call us back and uh, get in, get in touch. So, with the with regard to the Live Forever book, have you got the book? Yes. Yes. I've 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 got a copy of it. I I wrote away for a copy. Ah. Oh, okay. Good. And have you have you spoken to witnesses before? Um, yes, I have spoken to um, several before. Yes, um, but I found that they usually said the same thing, which is go to jw.org and sort of do my own research there, which is what I have been doing. Oh, okay, yeah. And what, is, what have you come up with? <laughs> Anything interesting? <laughs> well, I, I've got a few few questions on the book, a few things I don't understand. You know, okay. Um, just uh, your your wit church is that the congregation wit 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 church? It, it is, yeah, yeah. And where is wit church based? In Shropshire. Shropshire. Okay, right. Thank and you. Where are you speaking from? I'm, I'm I'm speaking from the south coast, from Devon. I tried ringing local Kingdom halls. I couldn't get through. Yeah, well, there won't be anybody sort of sleeping there. Right. Um, it is it is just a phone number. Right. Um, right. At the hall, you know, so it's not a flat or anything, it's just... Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, well, thank you. Um, um, well, I guess one of the chapters that puzzled me was chapter 13. There's been a few that I've been puzzling about. Um, yeah. Lesson 13, the start of section 2 on page 55. Okay, yeah. Um. Paragraph 2 says, false religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion sins have massed together clear up to heaven. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, and caused or approved the death of countless numbers of people. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. It seems quite forthright a little hard hitting in saying that religions that approve of warfare or that meddle in politics or meddle in warfare or whose leaders live a lavish lifestyle these religions cannot represent jehovah god okay yep and you 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 have a problem with that well yes um because the watchtower joined the united nations in 1992 i've i've got a guardian article from the 8th of October 2001, where the Guardian accused the Watchtower of hypocrisy because you taught at the time the UN was one of the beasts of the Book of Revelation, it was of the devil, but you joined the United Nations in 1992. Your then governing body member, Lloyd Barry, signed the Watchtower by and Tract Society of New York, not the Pennsylvania Corporation, the New York Corporation, into UN membership. And so, you know, if religion shouldn't meddle in politics, why has the Watchtower meddled in politics? Oh, I don't. I would say that the Watchtower hasn't meddled in po politics. Um, you may, you may have come across come across a, a very uh, an article that I'm totally unfamiliar with. I've never read it, never come across it, never been exposed to it. So. Um, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to comment on that. I've not, not seen it before. It was published in the Guardian newspaper, a very major British newspaper. Right. So, um, uh, so what? Does that mean it's got validity because it was in a newspaper? Well, it must be because the Watchtower never sued them. They I never took it to I disagree with that. <laughs> so many things appear in in newspapers. They just become editorials on the part of some individual. That's. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm. I, I've never read anything like that, and I, you know, I know that so all of the, all of the articles and things that I've read, anyway, have always distanced themselves from anything in political nature. Um, so it's certainly not a stance that we hold. It's not a position that we hold. So if uh, if one individual has done something or has aligned himself or whatever, that may you could be right. I don't know, but it's, uh, as an organisation, we certainly haven't. 
Um, Paul Hoffiel, who's the head of the NGO section of the United Nations, I've got a letter from him on a UN-headed paper signed by Paul Hoffiel, chief of the NGO section, Department of Public Information of the United Nations. He had to write this letter, which he distributed by the thousand on the 11th of October 2001, as literally thousands of people from all around the world wrote to him querying the Watchtower's membership of the United Nations. And on this letter, UN representative Paul Hoffiel says on UN headed paper that the Watchtower joined the United Nations in 1992 and they resigned from the um, United Nations on the 9th of October 2001, which happens to be the day after the Guardian article. If it's a lie... 2001? Yes. No, no, I don't know where you've got that from. Well, where from Paul Hoffield, from the United Nations. He yeah, said, no, I, I, I don't know. Where, I, as I say, I've not, not come across that. And as I say, I honestly think <laughs> your initiative in calling is is to find fault, I think, isn't it? You know, it's not it's not to sort of find out the truth. It's just to just to knock knock what what's happened. So I've got the general gist of where we're going with this. <laughs> so no, I, I mean think... no disrespect. I, I mean no disrespect, sir. No, I'm sure you don't. But I mean, I can see that your initiative and your determination. If you phoned Whitchurch from Devon, yeah, with uh, the first thing that you've come out with is some article. Um, that's uh, that's challenging uh, our, uh, our sort of validity with regard to political entities. You know, it's not it's not with the determination to, <laughs> to find out the truth. It's just to, it's just to have a go at what you've read in newspapers or whatever. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not even going to engage with you in that because you're on ground that I'm totally unfamiliar with and I've never read it, never seen anything about it. And to me, um, it's it's uh, very, suspect, very suspect. I mean, how would you feel if you spoke to a Roman Catholic who took your very same position? You mentioned to the Roman Catholic that... Yeah, uh, but I don't believe could where I, you're coming from. Could I finish my point? No. How would you feel... If a Roman Catholic said to you, there was no such thing as the Spanish Inquisition, no such thing as the Crusades, Hitler never signed a oh, concordant, and he's, he's hung up. Gosh, that's... Gosh, they only want to listen to their own point of view, don't they? Let's try them again. Welcome to the EE.